Hi everybody. Um, so today we have a PNY A2000. Um, it's a very very small GPU. Um, you know, it's a much smaller GPU than everything else we worked on before. Um, so the purpose of the video today is, um, as per usual, to show the process on how to open up the GPU, uh, clean it up, and uh, replace the thermal pad. It should be a pretty uh, straightforward and quick video because. Um, these are all the parts you need um, to replace the OEM pad on that GPU. Uh, there are only two pieces of pads. Um, so um, the pieces of pads you need are 1.5 millimeters. Um, so it's pretty standard, pretty straightforward, only a few screws. Um, you know, it's uh, nothing very special about that GPU. So let's get started. Um, so we'll start by taking the IO plate first. So you have two screws on the side um, that you want to take out. And we can take um, the few screws um, in the back. So you have two holding together the IO bracket. It's one, it's two. So it's a blower style GPU, meaning um, you have just a single fan that you know sucks in air and just blows it uh, through the side. So um, you know the heat comes out from that end, and you see the cooler. Um, it's it's a pretty compact and efficient design. The drawback is the noise it makes. So we have one, two, three, four screws to remove. Which would allow us to free um, the plastic casing of the GPU, uh, but not quite to separate the heat sink uh, from the PCB. So to separate that, we'll have to take the other uh, two screws that are holding the bracket together. Um, but before I do that, I want to show what the GPU looks like. Well, I think we got all we needed for now. Um, there you go. Um, you have a single connector. You can try to carefully pull out. And just to be safe, not to break anything. Um, I just like to use a flat head uh, screwdriver. You can just put, put it there in the connector, uh, twist it a little bit, and that's easily freeing things up. And that's it. Um, so if you need to replace the fan, you need to remove the screws to access the fan, you can replace that. Um, we don't need to do that today, so basically um, you see the fan, uh, it's basically sucking air in and just pushing it through the channel. Um, it goes through a very simple and straightforward heat sink. Um, and below the heat sink we have um, the core and the VRAM, which is what we want to get at. So let's remove the last two screws that are holding the bracket together. One. And that's two. So um, the parts used by PNY are pretty uh, moist and so it really sucks um, the heat sink into the PCB. Um, so especially the first time you're taking it apart, um, it's very possible that things will feel stuck together. Rather than pulling it up straight like that, what you want to do is you know, gently twist it to loosen, loosen it up a bit and eventually it will come out. 
So that's it. Um, that's all you need to do to take it apart. As you can see, they use uh, three pieces of part of the exact same dimension, two occurring the modules. It's interesting if you pay attention that one of the pads is not even fully covering the modules. Um, so it's a very low power um, GPU, so that's probably sufficient, but if you really want to keep it cool, you need to make sure that everything is um, fully covered. Uh, so we'll just clean that up. Um, Replace the pad, put new paste, close it back up, and we'll be done. Yeah, you can see the pads are very mushy. So those, those are brand new pads, um, so they're really not in bad shape. If you've been using your GPU for a long time, it's very possible that you know the pads would be much drier or crumbly. Um, but this GPU was basically uh, virtually brand new before we opened it up. All right, so this is isopropyl alcohol. Um, that's all you need, and some wipes. PCB is clean. Now we can work on the heat sink. Alright, so um, on the heat sink, um, you know, the paste seems to be uh, pretty sticking to it, so um, I have to scratch it out, uh, which will take a little bit of effort. Um, don't overdo it, you know, ju just clean it up, um, but you may have to be a little bit insistent um, on the heat sink. Uh, part to really scrub off any dried out uh, paste. Alright, um, so I think we have it clean enough. Uh, what's really important is really to have it the surface to be flat um, so there's an even uh, contact um, over the core um, so you don't create hot spots. Um, that should be good enough. We cannot really feel any bump um, anymore. So um, now we are ready to put um, the pads back on it and the paste so like I said um, you just have a couple of pieces of pads um, that go there and there put the paste close it up so let's do that and again those uh, pads are 1.5 millimeters in thickness uh, that should work um, almost perfectly so the pads I'm using are critical pads. Uh, they are on the soft side, not on the mushy side. They are soft, so you can you, you can see they are bouncing back a bit, um, but they are not very hard. So um, even if you know you need to compress them a little bit, um, that should not be an issue. has plenty of paste. Um, don't overdo it with the paste. If you put too much paste, you're going to get um, excessive thickness. Um, so just enough to cover it 
um, without leaving bare spots, but you don't want to have, you know, several millimeters of paste on the core. That's it. You can see what I ended up scooping off. Um, so there's quite a bit still on the spatula. So let's make sure we take the plastic wrapper before we close it. We can um, close it up. So that's it, that's about centered. You can squeeze it a bit to make sure you have good compact and you can wiggle it a bit so that you can squeeze any air out of the paste and pads. Okay, um, so let's put um, the core bracket back on it and then we can put the heat sink on it. So just like on any other GPU where usually you have four screws, you have two, so don't scrub, you know, screw in one end all the way, go, you know, back and forth between one side and the other uh, so that the thermal paste uh, gets spread somewhat evenly uh, through the pressure of the bracket. Make sure you screw it all the way in until you feel the screw is resisting. Uh, so you get the maximum pressure from the bracket. Um, so looking through the side, everything looks okay. We don't see any gap between the pads or between the core. Um, you can see some of the compression of the pad. If you look at the edge, it's a bit thicker than where you know you have pressure. So this is what we want to see. Um, so let's put the, cut, the lonely connector back in and uh, that's it. And we can assemble the rest. So before you put those two screws, remember you need to put the bracket, the IO bracket back on. So out of simplicity in that case, um, I'll first put the screws um, from the side, which will basically hold the bracket in place um, and make it more convenient for me. And that's it. Um, so we are done with it now. This was the process on um, how to open up a PNY A2000 and replace uh, the two lonely pieces of pads um, that you have on that GPU. So once again, those pads are 1.5 millimeter. Um, we used critical pads, high conducti conductivity pads. Um, so we we'll check the temperature, I think, before um, changing those pads. Um, the temperatures were in the 90s on the memory, um, and so we'll see if that drops by using um, different pads. Um, thank you for watching.